and I will come back home. For this video today for you, I will show you now how to take upload your website or deploy your website for free. By the end of this video, you go understand how you go feed, take, deploy your website. You can share your website for live for internet with anybody for free. If you share with your employers, if you share with your even your colleagues, if you share with your family members, if you share them on your phone, anything we want to do, if you do with them. For bonus, I go show you now how I go feed even they submit the form where they our website so that people go feed take contact us for the form. I will go feed even read the messages or the inputs where they the form. I go like thank. Everybody will on they follow me. Everybody will on they subscribe. Everybody, you guys are the best. But make one not forget, we get group for now to take join our community for Telegram. We're gonna post different things. We're gonna give our updates. We're gonna even share jobs with one. So make one become a part of this community because as we start to they build up, now now gonna grow with us as we they grow also. So the first thing we're gonna do now, you're gonna come to this site GitHub.com. You're gonna create a repo. If you don't know what's in repo B, go check out my video about uh, GitHub. Where we say we can't start to create a repo, we can't start to work with that repo. And because of that, I don't even deploy code on top of GitHub. And that code will be go use. Now, we never watch that video. If you never watch the video on how we take build the code, I go see the drop link for the description. So, I go fit get the code and then I go fit work with that code. So, make we just log into our GitHub. Okay, so for inside this, my GitHub repo, make you just make sure, say, when you enter your GitHub repo, you get the project for your repositories, okay? Because this is very important. We're going to need to get our file for inside the root directory, and we're going to need to just get our um our website for inside this root directory. So, it no matter where you put your um, main JS or your CSS and all that, just make sure, say, the, of when you build your site, say the index or HTML, now where you did, now there you go, they deploy the site for. So this now the first site where we're gonna need to use. The second site where we're gonna need to use now, you're gonna need to go to this site. It's called Netlify. So you could just make we search for around Netlify. Now now Netlify. I go drop link for the description so now go go this link. And then uh, make we just check within Netlify B. Netlify now place where we say if you host your static website, if you even they do things faster, if you they build things anyhow you want. So they get free plan where you go feed, they deploy as many websites where you feed on top of an edge network. If you even preview them, if you work on them with different people and all those kinds of things, because of version control, because of GitHub, we feel they work with the version control. But if they deploy all your assets and all those things, if you work with serverless functions and all those kinds of things, if you they create web hooks and all sorts of technologies like that, if you they do with uh, Netlify. So we don't go use any of the paid service, we'll just use this free one. So make gonna create an account uh click here and then create a free account you also get access to the docs so if you sign in with your uh github you sign in with your gitlab gitbucket or just use your email so me i already get account and uh, i could just sign into my own netlify so i did my netlify dashboard now if you see this now just my netlify projects uh, i don't deploy a few other sites now here you go feel they check all your sites now here if they add new members we say you want to collaborate with other people and this is not just sites where i don't already deploy so this is how much storage i get uh, for my uh, netlify website if you say not just me they work with this uh, dash only so what you want to say you just want to come here to this add new site so you get different ways where we feel deploy of our website if you just deploy or I'm or Adam or upload your website manually. Then I say you go get like a uh, normal HTML website. We say if you just drag them, if you just drop them here. Now simple upload, just the way they upload uh, Facebook uh, pictures and all those kinds of things. So no be waiting. We gonna do for here because if we upload our site the manual way, we no gonna get updates. Meaning say you no gonna update our website. You no gonna know. Now we go to come. They do them. They update them manually. We go to update our site every time manually. They add. They do them every time manually. So no be waiting. We want. Before I forget we can also do use a starter template meaning say netlify will help us create a website deploy the site and then we could just build on top of that site and now we see the template be but not be waiting one waiting one we say we want import an existing project so after and i don't build your portfolio finish and i don't build your website finish and you don't build everything or your web app and you want to share them with the world now that time you can come upload them to the github right so once you did that github now that time we feel login with our github Okay, so now you guys make sure say the project go day on GitHub, or GitLab, or GitBucket. And also, if you get uh, Azure DevOps, if you also use them, I could just sign in. And now, where I don't they authorize, you go see say Netlify, don't they give me all my repos where I get for here? Okay, so any of my repo, whether I'm a private repo or a public repo, again, if you don't know which one be private repo or public repo, make sure go check our GitHub series where we talk about private and public repos and how you go feel use them. Uh, so what we want to be saying, we want to add the site where we want, um, we want to add the sites and the site where we want now the country 
right? So remember, say we build or we use Bootstrap 5, build this our country app. So we could just come here, this country app now we define. So we could just enter RAM. And once we enter RAM, you can see say now we get this option to deploy for any branch where we want to deploy. So if you deploy the development branch, because we get two branches, or if you deploy it to the main branch, any one way we want, we fit choose. So maybe we just choose the main branch because we did try work with now. You're not gonna use any of all these ones here. All you need to do now just select this branch where you want because now just static site where we've been built before. And then uh, if you know they use um of course that if you know they use any build tool, then that time you know we'll use. But if it is build tool, now here you go put your base directory, okay, and now here you go put your build uh command and that now like your npm script or something or pnpm script and then here now here you could come put the public directory down at the path to your public directory now we go cl click deploy once we click this deploy what in that if i could do be say it go connect to our github it go help us pull all that code it go help us publish the code and once it publish that code it go even help us generate a what's it called an ssl certificate if you know it's sslb you see this https it just means it is secure so it will help us give us free ssl certificate it will also help us to generate a url name or website name dot netlify dot app now that time if we get our website for here so because it's still a load then i will get this placeholder image for here but what we want to be say we want make we try change this name or make we try preview and first so i could just click this option for here and make me see correct now our website it is so now we don't know when we build this website we built them a few weeks ago so we're gonna check out our video where we take build this website from scratch and then we go we go make we check whether other things they and how it they work yes it will work 100 percent make we see whether even see they responsive and our javascript they work right and you see say our form they work well if you want to check the responsive behavior we go see say you see they behave very responsive so make we just check here and you see say everything the responsiveness everything it will work exactly the way we want to make it work so if we look out for mobile phone it didn't work well all right so make i close this side and then make we see what thing if we do we want change make we change the url so make we change this part to this uh website where we get for here uh what you want to be say you could come inside this domain settings for here you'll click on then we come here and if you change the domain name so the default name we netlify post generates we could change this we could just change them. Make we since now country be the name of that our app. We could just call a country and make we just leave it like this. So it could just be the URL then at this address, the website address could be country.netlify.app. So if you want to share with anybody, now this link where we could use the share with people. So you can just click save for here. You will see say you don't change this URL for you. So anytime where we use this domain. And we click go this site, say country.netlify.app, it will help us show this our site when we get for here. If I refresh the page, it's supposed to load faster because Netlify, it help us to do all the caching and all those things. It save our website with CDNs and all that where we need to make them work very well. So the more people visit them, the faster they work for them. Now, if you look this our site, you see get some kind of things where we for like to, for example, we for like receive all these requests. So if you check out this form for here now for this our website, what if people send us email? How we go take no say people don't send us email? Okay, so now I day inside my VS Code, make we see this project and uh, again if we never watch the video where we write all this code for here, we're gonna go watch that video. So what we want to be say we want just go into our HTML and want locate the form for here. So remember say we define the form with there inside our model so make i just check make i make sure so you google this live server make we launch our live server for this site nice one so you don't really work for our local if you check them here you can see say the address now um, our local directory where they work with our local server now be this one where they work with so if we click here you can see say right now we get this form and everything they work as we expect so what do you want to be say we want we don't any really add validation for this whole form right and since we don't add validation already we know say we feel check the input of every data but what you want to be saying we want grab all this information for here that won't do so maybe we go back into our html and now this form the model form that our comments good you're gonna need to make sure say any form where you want to work with you must they get a name attribute the name attributes now what you going to use because this kind of sites now you know say this site get like two different forms so if you want to check for the different forms, we're gonna give those forms their name. So this form now, we they call them the model form. You know, so we already write this code before. So what you want to be say, we're gonna need to add one more attribute so that Netlify go feed they understand and know this form. And that attribute now the data dash Netlify. And if we do this data dash Netlify, we could just need to give them a value of true. Now, because our site go go deploy for Netlify for the internet, anytime when we deploy this site, it will work for us 
you go they help us they they netlify go they help us they read the form they check the input of the form they help us they know what they happen for the form you get another way where you just write now you see the way we do this no validate if you also do the same thing if you just write um netlify for here if you don't like this it goes still do the same thing where this one said they also do so make it just done like this netlify and then make we give every other input a name because right now we never put names for our inputs and if we submit the form yes it go work for, for netlify but you know go know what thing we they do so make we give all these inputs uh a an attribute of names and then make we add their attributes for them so i could just say a name and this one we just call a name and make we go the other inputs so one give this one an attribute of email and make we go the next one name attributes which not the telephone so we just call our phone Make we go the next one name and we just call them um, call them um, notes for now because i used to say we call them um, floating notes so we could just call them um, notes that name that's that all we need so every input where we they add for our form we're going to need to give that input or text area or checkbox we're going to need to give them a name so that we go feel they read the values of waiting them be okay if we press save for here and then we push our code to the internet i will do our so we say git and remember, say we never push our code yet, so we're gonna need to git add, and we won't add. We'll come put the file we won't add, or if we just do the shortcut way instead of adding and committing, we could just have only one line. So we could just say git commit, and we could just say dash am, and then we could just drop our message where we want in quotes. So we'll say uh, added netlify form or to form. Okay, we could just say added netlify to form. I will also run another command, so I will just say add and, and I will say git push, okay? Now, if I run it like this, it will help me commit the file, it will add the file, it will add the file, it will commit the file with this message, and then it will push my code for me for uh, Netlify. So make me try, all right? You don't commit the code, and you don't push the code. And if you check out for here, you see say we don't get anything again. So make we go back into our GitHub or into our Netlify, we could go into the uh, deploys. And for deploys, it's going to give us all the information about how our website they deploy. So if you check out now the time now here, seven seconds ago, it was deployed. Then at this one into the main branch, they give us all the information we need. Now, if we come here into our site overview, or we come here, if we click this site and see the website. So make we check out the new site or the one with the online. And just say now we get our country app secured with the SSL certificate, everything in the work as is as we expect. But what we want to do is say we want to check out this form. So make we fill out the form. So everything here look right. So that means our validation the work. Now make we submit them, and then when we submit them, we're supposed to check our back end. So now because we don't add that attribute for Netlify, Netlify don't help us even add this page to show us say this this uh, code to show us say. Thank you, and our form is submitted. If you customize this anyhow you want, and then uh, I could drop the link for the documentation. And then now, if you take us back to this form, back to our website, which did the internet. So make we go back our Netlify, make we try to see whether we even get that information where we just enter for our website. So I could go the overview for here, and then make we scroll down to recent form submission. So if I come here into our recent form submission, you go see say you don't drop this message from here. So remember, say that form model where we give then the name of the form. So any form where we make now the name could show for here then how Netlify the identifier. And if you want to open that message, you could click on. And if you see all the inputs, so for full name, um, um, for the name, for the email address, the phone number, and of course the special request where we want, which now the message we did get them for here. So you see, say if you do anything when we want, and remember all these things now one hundred percent free. But for now, that's all we need to learn. I will see you now for the next video. Thank you.